in some notation assignments, you're going to be expected to add what is called a pedal marking. On a piano, there are three pedals. The pedal on the right is called the damper or sustain pedal and causes tones to be held beyond the length of time that you hold the key down. And that gives the piano a chance to sing and the soundboard on a piano a chance to resonate and sound good. Notating the pedal markings is quite simple in MuseScore 3. All you do, let's say I wanted this measure to have a pedal marking. I simply click on it like so. Go over to Lines and then it scrolled down for me and here's the pedal marking that's like the pedal marking that you'll see in the textbook. And then I just click on pedal and then there's the pedal marking. Okay. Let's say I want the pedal marking to extend more than one measure but through two measures. So I'll just shift click. Let me do that again. I'll click on this measure and then hold the shift key down and then left click on this measure and then go over to pedal marking again. Click on it. And now I have a pedal marking for two measures. When using the pedal, you have to make sure not to overuse it because the tones can sometimes get blurred. Starting with this measure right here, let's listen to the music now with the pedal markings in place. It's going to sound okay here, but the pedal marking is going to make this sound a little blurry. see these type of pedal markings used in the textbook on pages 61, 65, and 69. Pedal markings in Finale Notepad 2012 won't look the same as they look in MuseScore 3 or in the textbook. However, they're just as effective and are okay to use. We'll start off by clicking the articulation icon here and let's say I want to add pedal to these two measures here. So I simply click, left click and look at number 11, PED. Click on that then select. Then drag it down below. Then left click to close. Then I'll click here and then to end the pedaling, you click on that icon, number 12, then select, and then just simply drag it over to about there, where this symbol is even with the bar line, would be good enough. Let's say I just want to have pedal for this measure, so I click on pedal, then select, and then click, select, and then move this over again. Something like that would be fine. Okay. If there were lyrics here, you would obviously move those markings below. Let's listen. that measures three and four sounded a little blurry because of these notes in the melody. The E and the D being a second apart creates a little bit of dissonance and a little bit of a blurry effect. But the D and the F and the G7 chord kind of blend better. 
In this particular measure, you have the E in the bass, and then the C, E, and G in the chord, so that blended pretty well with the pedal held down.